Hollywood actor Idris Elba, who says he is trying to cut down his use of social media. Elba, who is very active on Twitter and Instagram, shared this thought with a magazine. He said, and I quote, I've been trying to win myself off. I used to post a lot more, but it's been putting me off lately. And Twitter's, um, Twitter is just not how I want to receive my news. I read the news aggregated on my iPad, but I can't check it constantly. I'm not proud of it. But it's true because it makes me feel depressed. End of quotes. Yeah. So, that is coming from Ildis Elba. Yes, it is. You know, I like the fact that he was able to segment it to just Twitter. But mm. I think the whole social media in itself, mm. some people are, are swallowed up in it. Some people are overwhelmed in it. I know people wake up in the morning, the first thing they do is go to social media. All through 24 well. hours, they are on social media. There's nothing wrong with that. You know, but... There is, there's this part of it becoming too overwhelming for you. You see things, you don't know what is real, you don't know what is false, you see a whole lot of news, you don't know what now to Now you take. start comparing yourself with what them. What are the take? You're on, you're on Instagram where it's all about posting what you really are not. Because mm -hmm. everybody, nobody ever posts a picture of themselves not looking good. Everybody wants to put out something out there that will make people feel, you know what, I'm living the life. Mm -hmm. I have the life. Mm -hmm. Nobody ever posts their failures. You know, it's all audio. But some of us you know, do, actually. It's all audio. Now, I'm not saying people should go out there and put a picture or a post of themselves being depressed, being sad. But majority of what we see on social media these days is all for the impression, it's all mm -hmm. for the clout. Mm -hmm. And if you're not somebody who is strong in character, even with you being strong in character, you could get overwhelmed. Is it the case of you not know? being strong in character or not understanding or accepting that these things are not real? Because so even the celebrities have come out to say that most of the things you see online, don't let them fool you, it's not real, it's fake. But somehow, some way, people still let it affect them. That's it. What, what is real and what is not real? Who, 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 who deciphers what is real and what is fake these days? Mm -hmm. Because all we see is what people put out there, people touring the world, people having a great time. Today they're in seashells, tomorrow they're sewing we Santorini. And some young girl who is so gullible is just there looking at, oh God, my mates are traveling the world, my mates are wearing the best of designers, Gucci bag, Louis D's, all that. And you begin to think, you know what, this is what life is really all about mm -hmm. and so we live in an age whereby the real essence of what life is has been beclouded by this full gaze that we see on social media now imagine someone in the likes of it is ever he's big as a, as a top as a, as a world celebrity mm -hmm. you think he has it all and he himself can also get overwhelmed and I get think his own angle he he's, you know he impressed. said he said yeah. how he gets his, his news. news so it's easier I think if you want to read up, if I'm an if you and I want to read up on what people are saying about me and I go to a news platform, they aggregate it, right? Yeah. And I see what I'm saying, I get what you're saying, or someone tells me what they're saying. It could be but, pretty overwhelming and depressing. And that's different from, from it, now you is. being on Twitter and yeah. it's hitting at you, it's hitting at you. You open your ads and you're seeing the good ones, there were plenty bad ones because I think the bad comments are way more than the good ones. They always, they you know, always and you the see them, then it's hitting you direct. Yeah. There is nothing shielding you from some. So I think I'm thinking that is where he's coming no, that, from. That's definitely where it's coming from. But mm. it all adds up. I'm mm. just saying it all adds up. I mean, he, he took a segment of social media, which is just Twitter. Mm -hmm. Now there's Facebook, there is Instagram, which is the biggest of them all. Mm -hmm. You know, this is what people live and feed themselves with every day. So what would people, you advise people to start doing? That it's sad because we live in a time people can't actually tell what is real and what is what is not real any longer. Mm. All right. And People are forgetting who really they are, trying to assume and take on who they are not. That is the life we all live. You, you don't want to be you any longer. You want to be somebody else. Mm -hmm. You're constantly in comparison with people, what you see. You know? And so it's going to take a whole lot of self-reflection to reach into yourself and go, okay, who am I? That, I think that's one of the biggest questions any human being on earth will ever have to ask, answer, ask and answer themselves. Who am I? Mm. Where am I? Mm -hmm. What is my life all about? Mm -hmm. Okay, so if you're able to answer these questions and come to terms, true terms with yourself that this is who Benny is and this is where in Benny's life journey Benny is right now, then you realize that the need to start comparing Benny with somebody else is needless because okay. we're all one in different ways. So you want them to reflect in other words. Yes, you should reflect and as much as possible if you can. I mean, maybe you want to take a fast away from social media. Mm. I was telling somebody some days ago that I had to actually, I just reinstalled my WhatsApp because there's a whole lot of raging going on for me on WhatsApp. People I don't know, people saying things. Omar, Omar Shalak come out the other day and was saying how people were sending any messages saying they want to commit suicide. I get some funny kind of messages. Like, okay, 
I always thought about changing my number. Like, you know what, so don't reach me. I'll reach you if I need yeah. you to reach me. Mm -hmm. So what I do is I control who I follow on Twitter, on Instagram. Mm -hmm. It's got to be some kind of value to me, all right? So if I'm following you and my essence of following just for following sex, in no time I'm going to delete you. So maybe, again, you, you, want, you want to see if the people you follow, are they adding values to your life? To your life. If they're not, then maybe you just don't need to follow them. Unfollow. All right.